Are you looking for tried and true money principles to help you make good investment decisions? Anyone who has been wealthy knows that it is often seen as the result of luck or generational wealth handed down. However, becoming wealthy is usually the result of years of financial discipline and devotion to particular financial principles. For today's video, we have compiled a list of three money principles you should apply to increase your wealth. Before we get started, welcome to Upstep Financial the best YouTube channel about finance. Please share and like this video and subscribe to our channel for riveting takes on digital currencies. Now, let's get started on our topic. As you may know, what works today might not have worked 10 years ago. Similarly, what worked 10 years ago might be outdated today. So, it's best to identify those money principles that remain consistent over time. These strategies are critical to becoming rich because they help you avoid getting caught up with mob investment mentality and fads. Let's take a look at three money principles that will work for you no matter your age. So, are you ready? Number one, spend less than you earn. This is the basis of all sound financial management. It's how the wealthy became wealthy and maintain their wealth. It's how people who aren't wealthy can achieve their life goals even if they don't have a lot of money. You naturally save money when you spend less than you earn, and what you save grows into wealth. This principle allows people to be less concerned about money because they know they will be able to make their payments on time each month, and that if an emergency happens, they will have enough in savings to cover it without breaking the bank. People who spend more than they earn, on the other hand, will accumulate credit card debt or overdraft their account, which causes a lot of stress. This principle was key to helping me get out of debt, build up my finances, and achieve life goals such as quitting my job to pursue freelance, living in Italy for four months, moving to a new city, and so on. This is the secret to maintaining a life of freedom to pursue your ambitions, regardless of how affluent or impoverished you start as an adult. If they live beyond their means, the wealthy lose their riches, and the poor, if they do the same, will never escape poverty. So while the other two primary financial principles will make your life a lot easier, this one makes or breaks your life, period. Number 2. Invest as early as you can. Saving for retirement is everyone's biggest financial issue. It's the largest amount of money you'll ever have to save, and despite any unexpected windfalls, the only way to do it is to save consistently over a long period of time. If you start saving early in your career, the process becomes less stressful. You can take advantage of the power of compounding by saving when you're young. For example, John will have more than $400,000 at retirement if he saves $5,000 a year from age 25 to 40 for a total of $75,000 and never invests another dollar. In contrast, Paul invests $5,000 per year from age 45 to age 65 for a total of $125,000 invested, assuming 5% growth. John will end up with more than $400,000 by retirement. At the same time, Paul will only have $256,000 simply because John started saving earlier, even if he put away less. The earlier you start saving, the longer your money will be in the market, perhaps giving you a return above inflation to set you up for a retirement income stream, says Mary Storyohan in Forbes. So, in actuality, we should be in an accumulation phase for the next 30 to 35 years, and we want our money to grow because then, when we're 65, we'll have to turn on the spigot and all of our savings and investments will have to replace our paycheck. So we're putting money into one big pot that will pay us for the rest of our lives. Start now, if you haven't already, to make saving for retirement a lot easier for yourself. At this moment, your mind is undoubtedly racing with excuses. How you really need the money right now. How you'll start when you have more money. How you'll get to it later. But the truth is, there will always be reasons to avoid doing so. For example, you may want to save for a house when you get a raise, or you may want to save for a wedding, have children, or save for a college education. There will never be a perfect time to start saving for retirement. You'll always have to do it while balancing many priorities. So, learn to do it now while balancing all your other responsibilities. Then, when you are 65 and ready to retire, you'll be grateful that you've saved enough money to live well for the next however many years. 
If you don't, you could be facing a layoff with only a small nest egg when you're 55, and you'll be blaming your younger self for not thinking ahead. Hold on friends, I hope you're enjoying this video. Don't forget to share and subscribe to the channel Upstep Financial to watch more insightful videos in the future. Number 3. Earn More Earning more solves multiple problems. If you are used to making $2,000 a month net income from your day job, but you can do part-time work as a freelancer or pick up extra hours on the weekend, that's all included as extra. It's above and beyond what you are already making. So if you have already figured out your monthly expenses, let's say you are making $500 extra a month. That's money that can be used to pay down debt immediately or build up your savings faster. Or you can use that money to go on a vacation or save for a down payment on a home. Besides this, earning more has a great beneficial effect. Because raises often kick in as a percentage of your current income, the earlier you start making more money, the higher your future raises will be. This means more money over your lifetime. So, the sooner you can lock in a higher salary, the better because you'll have more money to save for your future. Earning additional money, which I started doing at my last full-time job by taking on an extra, regular freelancing gig part-time, was also important in financially getting me on the right track. It not only helped me to pay off my student loan debt in about a quarter of the time allotted by my loan repayment plan, but it also helped me to save enough money to feel comfortable financially. Living frugally and cost-cutting only get you so far. An extra $200, $500, or even $1,500 each month goes a long way. It's amazing to think that I owed thousands on my credit cards just four years ago, did not have a savings account in my name, and had never created a budget. Today, I now have no debt, a fair amount of savings, and a growing retirement nest egg, and I can still afford things that are important to me, such as attending a friend's wedding in the US. I also have one more pro tip that you should be aware of. Protect your assets from loss. Your first asset is the amount of liquid money you have available to spend. However, if you invest it in many different things, you'll end up with a bunch of assets. Therefore, suffice to say that you should protect that first asset and any subsequent assets. Putting this principle into action can be accomplished in many different ways. First and foremost, you should search for investment options with a low or reasonable risk to payout ratio. Secondly, because fees are some kind of loss, you should limit them both upfront and during the trading process. Looking for protections like federally insured, which protects accounts against theft or fraud, is another approach to minimize loss. Finally, diversifying your investments over multiple assets rather than putting all of your money into one opportunity, such as a particular stock, might help you avoid losing money because if one opportunity fails, you still have other assets to fall back on. According to the old saying, you should always hope for the best, but plan for the worst. It's true. The key to understanding wealth building is understanding and applying the principles above to your life. However, it is also important to know these three important principles to succeed in your finances. When you put these three principles to practice in your life, you will achieve your financial goals and live out the retirement you always dreamed of. It may sound too simple to be true, but practicing simplicity and care with your money truly is the first step toward achieving your dreams when it comes to getting wealthy. Money can be both a source of stress and a source of joy, which emotion wins depends on how you spend it. Unfortunately, many people have had the experience of overspending on things that were not worth the money they spent on them. When we lean too far into impulsive, short-lived spending, or assume someone else will take care of our financial needs, it's easy to make this mistake. But how often do we pause to consider what we're willing to spend our money on and if it's worth it? And more significantly, how often do we consider what our money could be able to accomplish for us if we just made a few small changes? I hope I was able to help you in simplifying and clarifying the fundamental principles of money to help you become rich. So folks, do you like our list of three money principles? What do you think about saving for retirement? Have you already started? Let us know in the comments section. All right guys, we're wrapping up today's video and we hope you learned a thing or two. Thanks for checking out our channel. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to Upstep Financial. See you next time. Bye.